Hello ladies and gentlemen welcome to Triple N Media I am Nick Nickam I'm going to be looking at some technical analysis of this rocket which took off like a rocket on March 2nd but it came down as fast as it did or am I just misinterpreting it we we'll look at the technical analysis and see what happened and try to learn from here as what we can do going forward if we want to trade this particular stock i hate for people to lose money playing this stock in fact i just saw on cnbc melvin capital made 21% profit in february so ladies and gentlemen i just want you to let that digest for a minute melvin capital which had lost 50% during the pearl harbor gma stock debacle they made 21% profit in february so they know how to strike back but that's not the question the question is if i am an individual investor where can i enter and where can i exit to make a few dollars or pennies so let's look at that this is when this stock took off from $29 and hit like $42 that was yesterday and this was the trend line that was formed uh, okay so here is an important thing i want to show you here let me bring up the after hour trade here and uh, this is after hour trade and we are looking at this one and it was just kind of uh, you know trading in a very narrow range here and something happened what time is this 4 am where most of the individual investors had no access to trading this stock that is 4 am new york time 3 am houston time but we have our brokerage firms don't give access to trade this and look at what happened it went from 38 to Forty-two dollars. A typical, typical pump and dump. And after that, ever since long before the bell rang, it was downhill all the way to the point when the bell rang at four p.m. I am not being pessimistic. I'm just being very optimistic so that we don't lose our money. so that's why i'm looking at technical analysis and see is there something we can find an area where we could have entered to make maybe 50 cents or a dollar profit so i'm going to run through some of these technical points let me take off this uh, after hours uh, so it makes a little more sense if you started off here as i said from the time go it was just downhill okay were there any chance of making money in the stock in this continuous down drift of course the market did not help nasdaq dropped like close to 3% and the entire market was bleeding from the get go including amc and gme as you can see it just started drifting down 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 it pierced through the bollinger bands in a volatile trade coming all the way down from 40 45 6 60 something like that down to 32 dollars in the, probably the first hour or so and here the stochastic ratio what is this 6% this is one place where i would think there is a buying opportunity if you if you had put money here you had a little chance of making money from say like 32 all the way up to 34 2 maybe you could have made 1 you know giving all the spillage and all these things but after that after it reached the peak here it has been downhill and none of these things are really going to help and if we had entered here where the bollinger bands were helping and the stochastic was way down there was hardly any room except it would have probably lost money and similarly these none of these areas really helped all the way through the end of the day where there was no chance 
of making anything reasonable and this is, is like the squeeze of the Bollinger Bands where there is consolidation going on. Anytime a consolidation is going on, two things can happen. Either the stock can break to the upside or the stock can break to the downside. But if you look at the main trend here, which is going down, you would expect the stock to go down. But that is just a speculation, which is uh, as good as anybody else's. Based on this, I think there was probably just one opportunity here right at the beginning, like uh, after this uh, massive bleeding here. There's one opportunity, I would think, uh, technically that there was room to make some money but the rest of the time it was just downhill unless you become smart as the hedge fund managers and start shorting these stocks that means uh, you have to be in a bigger firms like uh, fidelity or e-trade depending on if they let you short these stocks that is my quick analysis of uh, what has transpired on the rocket which took off like a rocket and came down like a rocket. Let's see what happens tomorrow. This is my interpretation. I, I could be wrong in all respect from your perspective. Let's hear your opinion and let's share our opinions so that maybe we can have a better luck tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching and please, please do subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time.